Welcome to this first tutorial in a series of more advanced editing techniques that I'm going to show you. Uh, this one focuses on how to get precise adjustments on audio so we can accentuate particular sounds that we pick up when we're filming um, in our final edit. So if you've watched my beginners video already, you'll be familiar with this setup I've got here. I've got uh, basically the start of a news, pack news style package on uh, some protests that happened in Brazil last year. I've got some vision, some natural sound, and also a grab at the end here and my voice track running in the middle here, the green. If this doesn't make sense to you, please go back and watch that beginner's tutorial. Uh, it's going to explain a whole bunch of techniques on how I got to this stage. All right, so moving straight in, I'm going to accentuate a particular sound. And the sound I want to accentuate is if I double click on my camera tape and I'll play it for you. It's this sound here. It's when the tear gas explodes. Okay, because if you listen to um, my script, I actually write to that noise. Let's just listen to my script and you'll understand what I mean. It didn't take long for the riot police to crack down on the protesters, firing tear gas into the street. So after that firing tear gas into the street, I want to have a really loud bang. Um, it's going to make my uh, story far more impactful and uh, it'll make the audience really pay attention, okay? Um, at the moment, it's just so muted to the street, into the street. It's just, it's just not having the same impact that I want. So um, what I'm going to do first is I want to create some space in between uh, these two sentences that I say in order to properly have uh, some space there that I can put in a really loud explosion bang. So I am going to use different techniques that I already showed you in the last video. So moving over here, click on the razor tool, and then I'm going to click right in the middle of my voice track there. And what I want to do is move this down. Now, as you see, if I move it down, I'm going to start overriding on that grab. So I'm just going to get rid of it for the moment. I'll just move it over here and deal with it later. Um, so let's see, let's see how much extra space I need for this explosion. To the street. Hmm. Into the street. Okay, I really want to drag that out longer. So I'm going to drag this over and really get that to the street. Okay, that might work for me. So it's going to go voice, the street, bang, and then it's going to go back to the voice. So I move my voice back in. So let's let's drag this. Let's just zoom out with the minus key so I get some more space happening here. Let's drag all this over there. Get my voice back in. Probably about there. And then let's move the vision back. Um, I now have a gap in my vision. Country's poor. The country's poor. But I'll deal with that later and put the grab back. Okay, so a couple of problems right now that I can see. I've got this hole here, which is great because I want to fill that with the audio. So it goes voice, the street, bang, those protest voice. But now I've got some vision holes that I need to fill as well. So you need to be aware of that. Um, let's uh, deal with the audio first and then we'll deal with the vision holes after. Okay, so the audio, I want that bang to be louder, um, but I do not want the rest of that audio track to be loud because otherwise it's gonna uh, be uh, as loud or louder than my voice, which will um, screw up what I'm saying. So um, to get this louder, there's a few different ways. Number one, I could again, go to my razor tool and just chop there go back to my pointer and then just raise the volume of this particular isolated part now. Let's try that. I'm going to raise it up. Let's say, I don't know. There. Let's see how, how that works. To the street. Those protests into the street. Those protests. Not too bad. That actually works pretty well. Um, another way you could do it, if I press Control Z to go back, is I'm going to zoom right into this audio. Okay, so we're really close now. And if I press um, command, so hold command on the keyboard and then left click, I get these little yellow dots. And what they do is it allows me to get really precise 
audio movement, okay? So if I wanted to, I could slowly raise up the volume of this and then go back down as well, doing my own manual fade ins and outs. That's gonna be a really useful technique for you as you get really uh, precise into uh, your natural sound. And particularly also if there's uh, certain words that you said too loud, you can just lower the volume of your words or raise the volume of other words. And that's just about zooming really close into audio and then using that command left click function to get precise audio movements. So let's try and listen to that one as well. Straight. Those protests into the straight. Those protests. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So next thing I need to do is just fill in these vision gaps. Now, hopefully, I'm hoping that I can just drag this out and everything's going to work fine. Let's try that. It didn't take long for the uh, it problem. It didn't take. I've got now a different shot at the start. It didn't take. So I've got like a half second flash of smoke before I get into this clip. Not happy with that. So by increasing and putting this natural sound, which I'm really happy, I've now stuffed up the start of my package. This is normal in edits. It happens all the time. So you're going to have to change, uh, change what you want to do. So for me, that natural sound is the most important part. So I'm going to now change the start of my package uh, in a different way. So I don't want to start with just half a second of smoke. I think it looks pretty uh, boring. So I'm going to go over here, maybe start this clip there. So drag this out. And now I'm going to pick another new clip to put in the start of this package. Now, again, I'm going to use techniques that I showed in the first video. So let's go into my... Okay, I like that. I'm going to start with this shot now. So uh, I'm going to go I... O, and then if I now press overwrite, how do I know that one, it's going to be long enough to fill this space and two, it's not going to overwrite this? Well, I can guess it, but it's not the best way to do it, but I'll try. Okay, what's happened is it's, over, it's, it's overridden uh, the first part of that shot. See what's happened? which is fine if that's what I wanted to do, but it's not. I only want to fill this particular gap. So how do I do that? Well, just like you can do in and outs up here, you can do in and outs down here. So if I press I on the keyboard here and then go to the end of that clip and press O, I've now selected this part, yeah? Now, if I overwrite again, then it's going to ask me the source, which is this, is longer than the destination. So what do I want to do? Well, uh, I can ignore the source in point or ignore the source out point. So let's ignore the source out point and press OK. Look, it's fit perfectly into that spot. It didn't take long for the riot police to crack down on the protesters, firing tear gas into the street. Those. OK, so what I've done is I have got my natural sound and filled that uh, vision problem at the start here. Um, just to repeat, because I know that that's a bit confusing, this, this uh, fit clip uh, menu here, it's basically saying that what you've selected as an in out on this screen is not an exact fit for the in and out on your timeline. So you have to make a call whether you're going to uh, ignore the in point or ignore the out point. And I'd recommend ignoring the out point. So basically it's going to fill this with as much of that section as possible. I think that probably makes more sense now. Okay, and then I just need to fill the end as well. So let's try again. I'll drag this out and see if it works. The country's poor. Loads of my friends. The country's poor. Loads of my friends. Okay, that time I got lucky. Uh, just by dragging that out half a second, there weren't any other uh, sneaky little clip mistakes going on there. So I'm happy with that. That's fine. Now, as you could imagine, and I'm not going to do it, but this clip here, with the chanting money on building soccer stadium that's perfect for another opportunity to raise the level of the natural sound and to provide more impact to this package but i'm not going to do that okay so that's how uh you deal with sound levels uh in a more advanced way i uh, hope you enjoyed